What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is a very spontaneous video. I've literally just sat down um, to do my makeup. I thought, you know what? I've not filmed a makeup tutorial in ages and I've just been loving the way that I do my makeup at the moment and it's just so natural and glowy and I feel like that's just gonna be like my vibe all summer is just like really bronzy, glowy, lightweight makeup that doesn't take me long at all because I don't wanna be sat here for hours, I wanna be outside. I wanna be outside, I don't want any of this makeup to be like taking up my time and I think it looks it looks really good if I do say so myself. It's mainly because I've noticed a lot of you guys have been complimenting me on my makeup and it might be because I'm doing it slightly more natural and you're like, you're doing something different with your makeup. Like, what is it? I'm just not caking it on anymore, hun. So I thought I'll show you what, like some products that I've been loving. I especially, I put this picture up on my Instagram and I did actually post the tutorial for that on my Instagram stories. It was all using one brand. It was using Rodeal. Um, I'm not gonna be doing that today. I will be recreating like that look because that is the look that I love to wear like every day. But I'm gonna mix it up, although there are a few Rodeal products that are like in in my makeup routine, this isn't sponsored or anything. Like I said, I'm gonna be using a bunch of products that I've been loving to create this more natural, glowy, dewy, fresh face look. I feel like that is the vibe this summer. So I will leave everything listed and named down below. I'll link it if you want, um, if you guys are interested. But without further ado, I haven't filmed to get ready with me in ages and I've literally set myself a timer. 33 minutes because I've got a nail appointment. Wonder what we'll go for. I'm currently going with the pink French tips. I feel like going a bit more colorful with it and rainbow with it. I'm also relying on the natural light. So if it suddenly dips in and out, there's nothing I can really do about it, I'm sorry. So yeah, I feel like I need to hurry up. Let's just jump straight into it. So obviously you can see I've got lash extensions on um, done by the M MCR Lash Sanctuary, I think she is on Instagram. I included her in my recent glow up video. These are just like the best lashes ever. And I'm not gonna lie, having lash extensions does make everything 10 times quicker when it comes to doing your makeup. But first things first, I'm gonna be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Freeze. Love this. I'd like to do this before I put the foundation on. Otherwise I feel like I just moved the foundation like off from like around my brows. And it also gives it time to just like set in place. This has actually been game changing for me. Like when it comes to my brows, I've never had so many compliments on my brows after using this product. And also it just makes applying the brow pencil just like so much easier. I don't know if that's just me doing like a placebo is that the right word? Placebo? When I like imagined it being better. I don't know. It's not actually going on better, but I feel like it is just because I'm like amazed by this product. Yeah, I just brush up all the hair. So it gives me slightly more feathered brow. And then I also feel like it helps me, I don't know, like identify the shape of my brow. So then when I do like fill it in with pencil afterwards, it's just super easy and I love this because it's not too waxy or thick or anything like that. It's just, really is just like, it says styling wax, but it feels a bit more like gel vibes. Anyway, I'm gonna cleanse my skin with these brightening pads from Rodeo. I did use them in the tutorial. I've been loving these. I always feel like I just, when I wake up, I, I literally did just wake up. I feel like I need to like wash my face or like clean my face and these are just so handy to have. Plus it says like brightening. I just want my skin to be clean. And these are just, I don't know, been loving them like on my desk. Doesn't leave any like residue or wet, residue or any wetness. I feel like skin prep is a main part of this like dewy look. Right, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of SPF. Do I want this one or, I liked the Rodeo one when I used it, to be fair. The Rodeo one has anti-blue light and pollute, like it's good if you're in front of screens a lot. And then this one is new. I got it from Cult Beauty. It's called Glow Screen, so it adds like a bit more glow. But I don't know if I wanna be like too glowy. So I think I'm gonna stick with this one because I know that it's good. And I do kind of live my life in front of a screen. So I'm just gonna ooh, pop that in. Oh my God, you guys. So. When I'm filming this, it's a Saturday morning bank holiday. So a little while ago, probably from when you're watching this, I just decided just because it's a Friday, like I, I don't want to go out. Like I went out like the whole of the week before and 
I don't know why I did that. I just assumed like, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. And this week I'm just having to hibernate. I, li I think I put in the description box of my spend the week with me, like literally now watch me hibernate because that was suddenly too much social interaction. Oh my God. So yeah, I didn't go out last night but everyone else like did or like got drunk or like whatever. And you know, it's always those nights when you wake up and like my phone WhatsApp had been pinging off all night. I'm the worst person to call in an emergency at nighttime because my phone is on do not disturb. Like, don't disturb me. Sorry, just a little interval. This is the best shit ever. And this is what I use as like my primer. It's the Waleda Skin Food. Anyway, so yeah, like Hannah had sent a message on the group chat at like 3 a.m. being like, is anyone up? And I was like, what? And then I wake up and obviously reply when I wake up. But then everyone's obviously still asleep, but I want to know what the problem was. But turns out in that situation, there was no problem. Like she was just awake and wanted to know if people were up. And then I had another situation with some other friends that was like a drama and like had sent voice notes like really early in the morning and therefore like, I obviously wasn't gonna get them until I woke up and then everyone's obviously still asleep but then I wanna know what, like what the tea is. Oh, it's been a bit of a stressful morning, I'm not gonna lie, so I can't wait to just sit and get my nails done. Ooh. Yeah, that's essentially the skin prep. So I do feel like that already feels like just so dewy and glowy on the skin. Now, a few skin products that I've been loving. I, I do love the Rodeal Skin Tint. I'm not gonna lie, MAC Face and Body is just such a gorgeous everyday foundation. Like, I will always ride or die for MAC Face and Body. Like, it's so good. But then these arrived in PR yesterday, and it's the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. And I really wanna try these because this foundation from NARS, the Radiant long wear all day, whatever, is like my ride or die full coverage foundation. Like I love that. I love NARS for just like skin products anyway. I feel like they do some of the best. So I'm thinking like, maybe I tried this out today. I'm, I'm, I'm just on the vibe of like tinted moisturizers at the moment. I've got the shade Sydney and Santiago. <laughs> it's a nice name. Um, Let's try this one. Cause, oh my God, wait. It looks dark, but because it's a tinted moisturizer, I'm feeling like obviously it's not gonna be that like much coverage. Bear with me guys, let me just see how this goes. Oh my God, wait, no that is. Wait, no, come on, we can make it this work. We can make it work. Oh no, see? It does kind of, I mean, that doesn't look so bad anymore. <laughs> but that was a wee bit dark. I thought because sometimes, you know, like with a tinted moisturizer, if you go like a little bit too light, I don't know, I always want it to just have like a bit more cut. I look so silly. Come on, work it, Rachel, blend it, blend it. I'll just go in with a lighter concealer and make this work, okay? But you wanna make sure you go like around the brows. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not, not trying to put no product in my brows, girl, with that soap. Soap brow with that brow wax, brow freeze. Okay, I feel like now I've blended that in. <laughs> I feel like it looks really orange on the viewfinder. But we will make this work, okay? We will, I refuse. I was, the whole purpose of this tutorial was to show you that this is really quick. And then I decided to use a product that I hadn't used yet. Okay, deep breaths everyone, deep breaths. Right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the like tiniest bit of eyeshadow. And I just take like my contour kit and then I take a big flat brush and I'm literally gonna take like this shade right here and just pop it all over the lid. Literally, that's it. Just so we've got like a bit of orange, orange, like a bit of warmth going on. Like so, and then I take a big fluffy brush and I go in with that same color and just make sure it's diffused and like blended out, literally like that. Then I take an angled brush. How wee. Angled brush. Angled brush. Where's my fucking angled brush? Deep within, deep within. Then I take an angled brush. I'm just gonna take the dark brown from this, from this palette and just do a wee little wing. 
and go along the lash line. And that's it, like that's literally it. Like when I told you this is quick, every day, easy makeup, like literally anyone can do this. And the angled brush obviously makes creating a wing super easy. Sorry, I just realized like my mirror was probably just like in front of my face the whole time. But yeah, two little wings. We fucking finished, mate. I might just buff it out slightly. But no, literally done. And now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Concealer in 310. I did have these other concealers here, but it's the same sort of concept. I don't know where they've gone. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna dot this under my eye. And what's that? And what that's gonna do is just get rid of any bags, like the darkness. I'm not using this to do any like sculpting or lifting, just fully concealing at this point. And I do love that Fenty concealer. It's such a good coverage, but when I use a brush and kind of like buff it out, it doesn't feel too thick on the skin. So just concealing. And then I go in with like a lighter concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I probably would do something a little bit lighter weight. I just, I don't know why these are just randomly on my desk. I don't actually remember using these. Anyway, and then with this, I like to just pop it here. We're gonna use this to like tidy up and lift that part of the face. And in the same position on this side, there, and like down the middle of the face like that. And I'm gonna take a little, a wee little concealer brush like this and just use that to tidy along where the wing is. Like that, like so. And then take a sponge and blend all that out. And the placement of that is gonna really lift the skin and also help me sort of lighten that moisturizer. See, we're all good now. Ah, oh, see? Much better now, darling. I'm feeling a lot better now, darling. Now that's all blended out. I'm just gonna go over like my whole face with this because I have been using brushes up until this point. Do you just wanna make sure that it's all set in place? Now a cream contour. We do love a cream contour in this house. It's gotta be this. It's always this. It's the Urban Decay Naked, Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in 70NY. It's just such a gorgeous golden brown like nothing too warm nothing too cold cold like cool toned like this just makes you look sun-kissed i love this color and this product so much and it blends so neatly you know where that's from where is that from friends on emma's birthday when the toys are lined up so neatly right and then down obviously on my chinny chan chan Chans. And now let's just buff this out. I love this Fenty brush for my contour. This is 125 face brush. Oh, also in case anyone's wondering, I think these earrings are, are from Nasty Gal. This necklace with just the R on it is from Icy Season on Instagram. And obviously my jumper is from Champion. So yeah, I'm just buffing, blending this cream into the skin. I just, I love cream products so much. And I feel like if you do the, the correct like skin prep for you and like when it comes to setting in place with powder, whatever works for you um, and your skin type, like I feel like people with oily skin feel like they can't, could never do like a makeup look that was like glowy and dewy because you know, that is their natural, that's their, their natural skin, like, anyway. So, therefore, if you use, like, products that maybe are just, like, normal or maybe more of a satin finish rather than, like, dewy, your natural oils will work with that and create more of a dewy look rather than adding loads of dewiness onto your already oilier skin and, therefore, you just feel like it's just a slippery mess. Um, and also finding the right powder for you as well. If you do have oily skin, we always used to recommend to people that wanted a slightly more natural um, look to the skin but didn't want to like cake on powder to mattify everything. Sorry, I say we. I'm talking about when I worked at MAC. The MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powders work with the natural oils in your skin to create more of a just like natural looking finish or maybe like even using something like that as a powder foundation 
to give you more of that dewy finish instead of using liquids. I feel like that might work. Sorry, my inner, my inner makeup artist counter girl life coming back, but I'm just gonna blend out my nose concealer. This is the ColourPop F11 brush. I've been talking for 19 minutes, but I'm not actually even sure what I've been talking about. And have I been talking at 100 miles an hour? That is the question, but right. Let me just blend this out. Right, that is all blended out. Now it is time for powder. Now I've got these new ones. Is it, <laughs> should I be experimenting with a new powder? It's like the mini bakes thing from, it's the Baby Bake Loose Powder from Huda, because I used the, the big one here. How does this work? Oh my God. Open. <gasps> oh, it's got a little pad. Oh, it's got plastic on it. Oh, I can't bother to use that today. <laughs> but maybe I'll just use this. Um, so what I actually really like to do, as you guys know, is go in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder, but I'm just gonna use the shade one today, which is the lightest shade, and I use that under my eyes because I do really wanna set that in place. Like, I don't want my under eyes to be oily. So that part of my routine has stayed the same, and I do love the Charlotte Tilbury powder for that. It gives me a little bit of coverage. It really do be just like locking that in place. So I am just gonna put that all down the like center of my face, but then I take a big fat brush like this. This is the Teddy brush from Rodeon and a loose powder. And unless you like really wanna like emphasize that contour, but I kind of go in with powder to do that, as in like a contour powder, I just take a big brush, tap the excess off and just dust. And that just kind of sets it all in place for me, like just the right amount. I just realized I've kind of risked it wearing like a black jumper while I'm filming this. But yeah, just literally, la 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 la, dust it all around. And that gives me the right amount of just like settiness. But I know it's still gonna give me a little bit of a dewy effect because I've not like packed powder on like my whole face. Something to try if you're kind of going for a bit more of a dewy look. But now I'm dipping back into this contour palette and I'm gonna take the like shade I think we used on the eyes and just go over that cream contour and that is just kind of gonna set it more and define it a bit more because I still want a bit of definition. And also I'm gonna take a little fluffy brush and take that shade underneath my eyes. I still love to apply shadow underneath. I just feel like it ties Ties it all together and really makes your eye colour pop like sorry. I'll just pop some bottom lash mascara on now. This is the best mascara, the Maybelline Sky High Sensational. Like, this is so good. Obviously, because I've got lashes on the top, it makes doing my eyes so much quicker. I have like a love-hate relationship with lash extensions because yes. I do love them and they make things so much easier, but there's just certain strip lashes that I love. Like, I love the way that they make my eye look. So I sometimes get a bit like, oh, like I kind of wish I was wearing that like strip lash. And I feel like once you find like your favorite strip lash, it is actually so quick to just pop them on your eye and you're done. Like if, you, if you're looking after your strip lashes, you can rewear them and they do multi your eye shape. And I don't know why people are like, oh my God, whenever someone's got lashes on, they think it must've taken them so long to do their makeup. And it's like, Bitch, my strip lash is literally molded to my eye shape and it sits on my desk. All I do is put glue on, smack it down, and it's on my eye. It took me five seconds. Anyway, so now I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows now. Um, obviously I've used that brow freeze. Benefit precise my brow pencil in the shade 3.5 as per usual, as per usual. Um, I do actually have a full brow routine on my Instagram. I recently did like a little reel. Was it a reel or an IGTV? I think it was a reel of how I fully do my brows because I know right now I'm just like not really up close to the camera. So if you want like a in-depth brow tutorial, go to my Instagram and check out my video on it. Check out my brow reel. But I literally just fill it all in. Um, we have a brow. Why is the light pissing me off? 
Um, you can see that, right. Let me go ahead and do the other one. So these are the brows. I do like to go slightly lighter with the colour. I feel like my hair colour is probably a benefit shade 4 or like 4.5, but I don't know. I feel like a lighter brow just suits me a little bit better. Maybe it's just because my eyes, my eyes are lighter. Anyway, and then for bronzer, I like to go in with a shimmery bronzer. Um, you guys know my golden hour shimmery bronzer is my absolute, like, I have created the best shimmery bronzer from that palette. Um, and all I'm going to say is, maybe I'm wearing it right now. But maybe it's not in the palette. Who knows? Um, but just look, look, look at her. Look at what that's done to my skin, yeah? You gonna try and argue with that? You gonna try and argue with that glue? I don't think so. Hold on, FaceTime. Hey. Hi. Mid filming, Hi. you okay? Are you filming still? Yeah, you're on camera. Hi! <laughs> so once the bronziness is all done, now we're going in for blusher. Now, I feel like this is where everyone's like, what blusher, what blusher? And I do actually use my Goddess on the Go palette blushes. Like I use them a lot, but I think I had a tidy up and I've put all of my palettes away, so I've only got my single ones out. Let me just shout out a few that I love. Um, this one from Dior, this is in the shade Rosy Glow. Oh no, it's not, it's coral. It's coral, it's the slightly like orangier one. It depends on what I'm wearing today. I think I'm gonna go for this, but you honest to God, it can't go wrong with NARS Orgasm and this is Orgasm X. It's like that rosy gold, like glowy one. Love that. And um, I recently got this from Cult Beauty and this is this by Terry palette with all of them in. They just look a bit more like shimmery vibes. So depending on what you want to use um, or like the finish of it, I'm going to go in with this Dior one, the coral shade. Don't want anything too pink today. Mm. It is just... This is a blush that, like, you can really build the colour. Actually, do you know what? I've popped that on and now I suddenly want, like, a little bit of pink. I'm going to take a tiny weeny bit of this NARS one. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Just a little pinch, little pinch. Just a little flush pinch on the cheeks. And I'm now going to go in with a highlighter. This is MAC Whisper of Guilt. Uh, love that this is out on my desk and I, what I'm going to do is actually take my finger and pop that right on the ball of my nose just there and then with what's left I'm going to take it down the bridge of my nose and that's going to really snatch your nose like quite subtly you've got like the ball and the narrowest part like in focus and then obviously you have that contour from earlier just a little tip when it comes to contouring your nose and then I take this Dull Beauty highlighter brush and just really just dust. I'm not like really being too careful about where this is going. Just on the highest points and my Cupid's bow. And I'm also, I will say, I'm gonna put this in my inner corner. I'm just gonna tie it all together. Looks like this. I just love this look. And now for lips, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I have a ton of lip liners that I love to use at the moment. This is the Revolution Lip Liner in Fling. Love that one. The Morphe Bite Me and then also Peaches and Cream Borderline. I feel like I'm going to really lightly outline with the Morphe Bite Me. Feather that in. Like so. And then uh, I'm just going to take the Peaches and Cream one. And this is Borderline. I really love at the moment just to wear lip liner and gloss like that is the way that I do my lips sometimes I'll wear a bit of lipstick but like if I'm being quick and it's just every day I'm so happy with just like lip liner and gloss and gloss so I'm just gonna take this borderline shade such a gorgeous just like lip color and just like use that to really blend and diffuse that in and then going in with the gloss there's a few glosses again that i love at the moment i love the fenty beauty like sweet mouth over the top um but i'm gonna go in with something else yeah i'm gonna go in with something else i think yeah and this is what i've been wearing all the time you guys are always asking questions what gloss 
Isn't that just the most gorgeous looking gloss you've ever seen? Love it. And finally, the last step is just to set it all in place. And you guys know I love the Hyaluronic Fix Spray from Revolution. This just makes everything look just gorgeous and just sets it all in place, but just does something. Especially if you've kind of been putting like loose powder all over the skin, like it just makes it look like skin which I love. And then I go in with the Super Hold Misting Spray from Revolution, because obviously I am wearing a lot of dewy products. I don't want it to all fall off my face. The way that I've applied it, it shouldn't fall off my face, but this is just gonna make sure that it's all locked in place. And there we have it. Right, my Zoe Lens, that is the makeup complete. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Throwing it back with a bit more of like a full-on makeup explanation tutorial type thing but I do love filming get ready with me's and I feel like you guys were asking so much about like my everyday makeup and like the products I've been using I do love trying and testing new products so I just wanted to share with them all with you guys so I really hope you enjoy like I said I've left everything listed named and linked down below Maybe if you want to switch up your makeup routine and try something a little bit more like natural and glowy, which is just the vibe that I'm feeling at the moment, um, then maybe you can try out some of these and see if you love them just as much as I do. A few little teasy teasers in this video as well. So if you stuck around to the end, we love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.